Miller Lite versus Mail Poet. Now, this video is going to be a quick comparison. I'm going to show you basically everything that you need to know about these two email softwares. So, if you're thinking about potentially picking one of these up, or you're thinking about switching from one to the other, then keep watching as this is going to be the most valuable video you ever watch. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to say is that Mail Poet is specially designed for WooCommerce and WordPress. As you can see, a better email for WordPress powered websites, the best email plugin for WordPress, and the same for WooCommerce. So this is like kind of built around these two brands. What I would say, and a lot of people would try to drag this out and get as much watch time as possible. <laughs> to be honest, um, if you don't, if you use WordPress or if you use WooCommerce, MailPoet is a no brainer. Like of course you would go with MailPoet as it literally integrates with these two so easily. Now, MailerLite on the other hand, it's more broad. It's not specifically designed for certain websites or certain tools, but it's just great at what it does. Both of these are like drag and drop email softwares. So this also means that if you use WordPress or if you use WooCommerce, you can use MailerLite. However, it's just not going to integrate as easily as MailPoet. And it doesn't have the tools, the same tools for these websites that MailPoet does. So that is what I would say. If you use WordPress or WooCommerce, it's a no-brainer, go with MailPoet. However, if you don't use these websites, maybe you have like an e-com store or an agency, uh, it gets a little bit trickier in, as to which one you should choose. So if we actually take a look at the features, it literally says you can do everything you need to do all without leaving your WordPress dashboard. So it's fantastic for WordPress and uh, WooCommerce. And in terms of the pricing on MailPoet, we can of course start out with the starter plan, which is free. Uh, you can add up to 1,000 subscribers to your list. As it says, send up to 5,000 emails per month, subscription forms, all of that good stuff. Uh, and then after this, we can actually upgrade. So let's say we're paying monthly and you have an average email list size of 5,000 people. So for this, you're going to be paying $55 per month. Now, for an email marketing tool, how is this priced? I, I would say this is around about average, to be honest. Like, the fact that you can get unlimited emails per month is very, very nice, but it's not, like, crazily priced. It's what you would expect. However, guys, like, if you use WordPress or WooCommerce, $55 a month is so cheap to pay for a tool that literally integrates into your website. Like, if you use WordPress or you use WooCommerce, maybe you can go out there and find a tool that you pay $30 a month for, for 5,000 subscribers. But the fact that this just slots right in and integrates right in, like, it's really worth paying. For a 5,000 subscriber list, like if you're half decent at email marketing, you can maybe make $3,000, $4,000 a month. So the fact that you pay $55 for this, in my opinion, it's a no-brainer and it's a fantastic tool. Honestly, guys, I would say that MailerLite, in terms of like just generic drag-and-drop email marketing softwares, it's absolutely fantastic. Like, I would say genuinely, uh, even looking at the reviews, it's one of the best email marketing softwares out there. In terms of the, the pricing, which I will show you later, in terms of the user interface, how easy it is, the deliverability, all absolutely fantastic. As I say, like unless you're using WordPress or Mil uh, or WooCommerce, MailerLite is going to be your go-to option. It's absolutely fantastic. Like they have some very, very professional looking templates here. If we're just sending a, a newsletter out, look at these, beautiful beautiful templates. User interface is really easy to use and uh, this is the current email software that I am with. Been using it for about seven months now and absolutely zero problems with it. It's worked for me very very well and it's brought my business a lot of money. Now for Miller Lite in terms of pricing, as I say like this is one of the best email marketing softwares I've came across and it's so cheap. Like 5,000 subscribers $32 a month. Like, as I said, if, if you're still watching and you have a WordPress or WooCommerce site, yeah, like, you can definitely go for MailerLite and maybe save $20 a month, but it's not worth it. Like, it's just worth paying. If you have stores that this literally integrates with, like WooCommerce or WordPress, pay the extra $20. I would say it's worth it. But for anybody else that has any other type of store, this is fantastic. $32 a month, unlimited monthly emails, and you can try it all out for 30 days for free. By the way, just go with the growing business. You don't need this advanced plan. Uh, all you get is like Facebook integration, custom HTML editor. One day, eventually, you, you might want to upgrade. But as a beginner, I would just go with the growing business. But guys, that is MailerLite versus MailPoet. Now, if you actually decide to go ahead and pick up either of these email marketing softwares, 
All I ask is that you do so using the links down in the description. Those are affiliate links, so that means that if you sign up using those, I will receive a small kickback on the sale. It's kind of like a token of appreciation if this video helped you or you learned something from this video, and it allows me to create more free, valuable content like this. Anyway, that was a quick comparison between MailerLite and MailPoet. Thank you for watching.